and today in this video I'm going to tell you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So first, before you solve the Rubik's Cube, you need to know the basics. Opposite white, you see this colour is white, opposite white will have wet, it will have, opposite white will have yellow, and opposite red will have orange, and the opposite green will have blue. Now let's mess it all up, and now let's get starting. I'm going to be telling you the beginner method. Okay, so... So first you're going to want to start with a white cross. So to do the white cross, you're going to make a daisy. So you see this one white's already on there. You need to rotate this white one on to move it up two times. And then, all right, and then move this one. This one can go onto there by moving it, this one down and this one left. And it goes up. Now we only need to put one more piece onto the daisy, which is here. So we just move it to, rotate it to here, move it there, up, right, and then up. And now we can see we've got a daisy. So now this bit will be very simple. All we need to do is just see under this white one is wet. So you rotate it to the wet side and lift it down 180 degrees, which is down two times. And under this white one's orange, you move it to the orange side and then, just so you know to tell which side is each colour, you can tell by the what colour is in the middle. And move it down two times and then do it again. This Under this white one, it's blue, but it's already on the blue side, so you just move it down two times and straight away. And now we only need to do it to one more white one, which is green. So you move it, rotate it to the green side and then lift it down two times. And then all you need to do is just switch it over and then you should have a white cross with two going down. And now step two. This is step two. Now we need to get all of these white corners onto it so it's really easy. See? this white, Find the white piece you want to get onto it first. So you can put this white one on so which has green on it. So you rotate it the green side and then move it down, left, up. And now it's on here. Now we can get this one on. This white one, it has red on it. You move it to the red side and move it left, down, up. And now do it again. This white one has green on it. W rotate it to the green side. And then left, up, down. And the last one, has white one, has blue on it. So you rotate it to the blue side and move it left, down, up. And now you're com you would have completed the white side. And all these legs have to match up, so you'll have like many T's going round on each side. Now, step three is to complete all these, all this whole middle layer. So, to do that, you're basically going to find one of these, you have your side facing the yellow side, which has yellow in the middle, which is opposite white, like I said before. And find one of these pieces which doesn't have any yellow on them. So here's one, it's orange and green. So you, here's orange, so you move it to the orange side. And then here's green, so you move it away from the green side. And then the opposite one down. And this the same direction as you moved it before. And then down, and then lift, up, left, up right down and then you would have done this middle there now find one of the again find one of these pieces which doesn't have any other on them so here's one of blue and orange so you move it to the orange side and then you move this one the opposite here's orange move to the blue side and then here's orange and the orange side there so you move it the opposite direction of it and then the opposite one up and the same direction as you move it before and then down. Now you need to fix your white like you did before. So here's white one. And move it back to where it was and then down, left, up. Now we only need to get two more onto here. So here's one, a piece which doesn't have any yellow on it. Here's one. This green one is already on the green side. So you just move it away, up, away, down, and then back up right down and now one more middle piece which goes over there you find the one of these pieces that's on now and the other one here again and here's one blue and wet so here's red you move it and the red side's here so you move it away from the red side and the opposite one up and then left and then away and then down and then left down up right and then, now we'll have a whole side of white and the two layers solved. And now, we need to solve a yellow cross pattern. Now, we're doing step four, which is to solve a yellow cross pattern, which 
which is really easy. You just need to do this algorithm, which is F, which is F, U, R, U, R, F. And now we have the bar. So if we have the bar, we do it, the move set again with it here, which is F, U, R, U, R, F. And then you'll have, you should end up with this L pattern. So you move it this way, because it should be facing like that way. And then you, the move set again, where it is F, U, R, U, R, F. And then you'll have the yellow cross pattern. Now, step five, solving the yellow corners. So to do that, you have it on this side and then move it up, left, down, left, up, left two times and then down and then you'll have a fish so you do, here's a yellow one there but it needs to be over here so to get it over here you move it the move set again is up left down left up left left down it's so easy and now the fish is here but the tail's in the wrong spot so we need to rotate it to the right place and then do the uh, the move set again, which is up, left, down, left, up, left, left, down. And now we would have completed the yellow time. Now, step six, solving these corners in the right place. And now to do that, we need to find matching corners, which are already there, which is here. Green, 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 and green. So you rotate it to the green side, and then you have this whole green side, facing back and then you do this move set which is down and then this one down and then this one down then back two times and then up B R back two times and R two times and now we should have matching corner all these corners matching so we rotate them to their sides and now that's step six that's step six. So now all we need to do is step seven and then we've solved the Rubik's Cube. So we need to find a whole side and here's one, a whole side of red. So we have that red side, completed side, facing back like this. And then you just need to do this move set once. And, or maybe twice if you don't have a whole side. Which is up two times, left, up. Down, right, down, right, down, left, 